Hello and welcome to Skills and Trade. And today I'm going to show you how to wire a four way switch system. A four way switch system is one that will control a light or a group of lights from three different locations. That would be three different switches independently controlling the light or a group of lights. Before we get started, let's go ahead and turn off the circuit breaker. First, I'm going to strip the insulation from these two wires. The wire on my right is a 14-3 with ground. That means it has a black hot conductor, a red hot conductor, a white neutral, and a bare ground. And the wire on my left is a 14-2 with ground. It has a black hot conductor, a white neutral, and a bare ground. Be sure and test all the wires before doing any electrical work. Be sure the power is off. This is the 14-2 with ground. That means it has two conductors. We have one black conductor, one white neutral conductor, and a bare ground. That's a 14-2 with ground coming to the first box. Leaving the first box, we have a 14-3 with ground cable. It goes over to the second box, the one that's in the middle of the run, and it is again a 14-3 with ground. Leaving the middle box, we again have a 14-3 with ground with two hot wires, the red and the black, the white neutral conductor, and the bare ground wire. This cable goes over to the last switch box, which is again a 14-3 with ground. Going to the light itself is a 14-2 with ground. That means the black conductor, the white neutral conductor, and a bare ground wire. We have one light, but we could have a group of lights. We could have a dozen lights or eight lights or even 10, as in the case of lighting in a ceiling. In the first switch box, where the power comes into the system, I'll install a three-way switch. The first thing we're going to do is connect together the ground wires. We have the ground wire from the power cable and the ground wire from the cable that goes to the next switch box. Now we're going to take these ground wires and splice them together with the twist-on green wire nut. We're going to connect together the neutrals. The neutrals are not used in the three-way switches. But it has been code since 2011 that all switch boxes need to be provided with neutral wires. Okay, now we're going to splice them together and use a wire nut. This black wire that goes with the power cable is called the line wire, and it goes to the black common terminal. So it just goes right in the back, and then we tighten it up. Alright, so now we have power. Next, we're going to attach the ground wire to the green grounding terminal on the bottom of the three-way switch. We're going to put the two traveler wires to the bronze terminals. It does not matter which one goes to which, but it's extremely important that the traveler wires only go to the bronze terminals. Alright, so you put one travel wire to one bronze terminal, tighten it down, and the other traveler wire to the other bronze terminal. All we gotta do now is tighten down the three-way switch. Now all I'm gonna do is strip off some insulation and get all the wires to the, the correct size so we begin placing them on the switch. We're gonna cut all the wires even, strip them down, all right. We're gonna splice these ground wires together and attach them to the switch. So we're gonna take these wires and I'm gonna place them in the back of the box. So there's our ground for the four-way switch. All right, now we've got the neutrals. We'll cut these even, strip them, splice them. Okay, so this is going to go to the back of the box. The first thing we're going to do Let's hook up the ground in a clockwise manner around the terminal like this and tighten it down. So these are the two wires that are coming into this box. They go to the end, to the black common terminals marked in. It doesn't matter which way they go, it doesn't matter, but they both must go to the black terminals that are marked in. So this one goes here and I'm going to tighten it down, and this one goes here and I'm going to tighten it down. Okay now. These two go to the bronze terminals marked out. So here's the two bronze terminals that are marked out. This is the cable that is going out from this box. So I'm gonna put the red wire here and tighten it down. 
We'll also put the black wire right here and tighten it down as well. Again, these two wires that are going out could be either terminal. It doesn't matter. So we're wired now. We got the wires that are going out, the travel wires that are going out to the bronze terminals. We have the travel wires that are coming in, going into the black terminals, and we're grounded. And the neutrals are in the back of the box. Now we're at the last switch box and we're going to splice the grounds together. We got the ground coming from this cable. We got the ground coming from the light. I'm just going to cut them all the same length and strip them and then connect them using a green wire nut. We are ready to go for the last three-way switch. Now we're going to get the neutrals together. Here's the neutral that goes to the light. Here's the neutral that comes over the second switch. And I'm going to go ahead and strip them back. Next I place these in the back of the box. So now I'm going to take it and put the ground around the grounding terminal in a clockwise manner. Then tighten it securely. So here's a hot wire that provides the energy to the light. So we'll place it on the black common terminal and tighten it down securely as well. Okay, now we have the traveler wires. The traveler wires go to the two bronze terminals. Okay, put this right in here, tighten it down securely. All right, put this right here and tighten it down securely as well. And put the switch in the box and tighten it down. Now I'm going to flip on the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker's on. Let's try it out. All right, uh, this works, that works, that works, and that works. Try out all the different combinations. Everything works great. I just want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Please leave a comment down in the comment box and have a wonderful day.